It's Angelo Serafino, and we're presenting today our marvelous handcrafted mustards made right here in our hometown of Uxbridge, Ontario by the greatest Grattan, Neil Grattan. That guy's a, a wizard and a genius when it comes to creating mustards and a few other products. The guy's got his own product line too. I have to mention that uh, what Serafino does, even though we see our, our logo and our, what looks to be our brand, we, didn't, we don't particularly make everything or make anything. I mean, we make the connection. And uh, except my family's Olive Grove, of course, but what we do is we actually disclose who, the, who actually makes this stuff. So unlike other private labels on the market, they don't tell you where the stuff's actually made. So handcrafted by Neil Grattan, 244 Sanford Road, Uxbridge, Ontario. That's the guy. That's exactly where it's made. You need to know where your food is actually being made. Handcrafted, raw, sprouted. The mustard seeds are sprouted, so you can actually, when you're picking up a jar, some, most of the tails have been broken off, but the mustard seed, uh, like other seeds, will sprout, and then out comes the little tail, which will be the sprout, and then that kind of breaks off. So you'll see that within the mustard itself. Mustard are... Canada's condiment. I mean, they might not be the most popular condiment here, but 90, almost 90% of the world's mustard crop is grown here in Canada. So if you're Canadian, you need to get into it. And if you're eating mustard, you need to make sure at, at the least that it's made here in Canada so that you're not buying mustard that has mustard seeds that have left the country have gone to a you know somewhere in Europe perhaps you know, Poland or Germany not to say that they're not making great mustards or France and then you're buying them back you know it's just that whole travel of uh, carbon footprint of the mustard seed like it's traveling across the world and then back these are grown here and they're made here and they're eaten here which of course we think is really important. So there's a lot of things that make this mustard fabulous and delicious and even offer some health benefits. And we give, we offer in 11 different flavors. I think we should come out with a 12th. If you have any ideas on what our 12th mustard should be, then let us know. So let's get in to it. We have these mustards, 244 Sanford Road, I think is about 9 or 10 kilometers away from here. So it's small batch. These are made to order. When we get our inventory is getting low, we just order up what we need in small batches. I think our batches are about uh, around 20 cases. So we really get to control the quality and the freshness of the mustard. Like freshly ground mustard is a completely different experience and you'll really get to notice that in something like the Dijon where there's that bite there's that mustard flavors there's that freshness and you're getting a, a depth and character in a mustard that you won't find in many other mustard on the market and of course the ingredient list is super important uh, we don't have anything like sugar or any sort of preservatives or anything artificial for example this is the chili pepper mustard we got sprouted mustard seed we use our own uh, white wine vinegar which is venade and it's organic and biodynamic there's the hot chili pepper paste the sea salt chili flakes black peppercorn and wild flower honey which is also local so the sweetener in here we don't use any sugars it's all just honey to give any of these mustards a little bit of sweetness. So this chili pepper mustard is one of our latest creations, but what, what happens, the whole process is that we meet up with Neil, we have her idea, and Neil 
the mustard mad scientist takes our idea and comes up and presents four different variations of what we've been thinking and talking about and presents you know different textures and different flavors and different mixes of ingredients until we both narrow it down to something that we think is exquisite and something that you'll really love to use of course as a as a condiment or cooking with any of your dishes and mustard mustard is so underutilized because we think of just putting mustard on like hot dogs and hamburgers and maybe steak but you can add it to so many different things like sauces uh, marinades stir fries salads and you will walk through walk you through these and, and give you sort of some pairing suggestions so the chili pepper also uh, we source a lot of these have ingredients that we've sourced or that we already use in our, our our repertoire so the chili pepper paste comes from Calabria as well as the chili flakes and and the white wine vinegar is, is something you can also purchase from us in our Venade which is our uh, white label organic biodynamic white wine vinegar the heat in here isn't it's not like super hot but it's got a lot of flavor the chili pepper can the pepperoncino can give you a bit of fruitiness and that nice heat and it's like it, it's it's a mild it's a medium heat with a, a a nice spicy fruity finish to it uh things you can use this with you know like pork chicken add it to a stir fry it's wonderful the classic grainy so if you're not looking for anything with any flavors added to it the grainy is all around could be used in anything so whether you're using it as a condiment in a salad or a stir fry or in a sauce this is the grainy and we also use a little bit of there's yellow mustard seed and there's brown mustard seed and the brown mustard seed is usually a little more intense so there's a small ratio of of brown mustard seed in there as well of course it's all made here in Canada as we move on this is our latest creation so this is the green olive mustard this was actually Neil's idea he's like you guys deal with olives you guys love olives and olive oil so you need an olive mustard We're like all right of course we do spreaded mustard seed vanity white wine vinegar sea salt green olives and brine virgin olive oil our virgin our family's virgin olive oils in this that just gives it a really nice texture and olive oil just uh, does a good job with just putting all the flavors together and amplifying them and it's also our yeah our green olives and brine from Fabrizia uh, so that's our green olive mustard really good with uh, yeah your typical burger sandwiches any place where you think of both using mustard and olives now we have the uh, salt and pepper I think this might be Neil's favorite but there's something that happens in this process with the peppercorn and the mustard that really lifts the flavors and it brings this it's a whole new flavor that I've never I can't even tell you what it tastes like of course there's a bit of peppercorn in there but the combination of the two and there's some sort of chemical reaction that happens creates a whole nother new flavor that doesn't exist in anything else the idea was this was this to use with the classic steak any type of steak and the texture is a little more creamy so we have different textures that we thought that would work well with a certain type of mustard um, and again we use a lot of our own ingredients so this particular one we have our sea salt from Trapani which is Sicily also I should mention recently we've, there's the Ontario Maid program that came out uh, we signed up for it and we got accepted so of course this product is made here in Ontario like I said it's just uh, about nine kilometers away from where we're situated here in Uxbridge salt and pepper you need to try it I mean it's it's it's, it's definitely one that uh, you'll be surprised with then we have rosemary we really like rosemary here we use a rosemary in our 
uh, also in our risotto. Plus, we offer the the straight up rosemary as a as a herb. It just goes great with any type of meat. Uh, you can use it in roasted potatoes, whether you're mixing or using it as a as a sort of a marinade before you roast the potatoes, or afterwards and just dipping the the potato into the rosemary mustard. And there's a classic Canadian, that's got to be the most Canadian condiment that ever existed. It's local maple syrup and it has the sweetness that you would expect, the really nice rich maple flavor. I mean, there's a lot of maple syrup in there and in order to get a really nice full flavor of maple, you need to have a good amount of maple syrup in there. Classic would be the salmon, of course, or any type of ham, pork, uh, and some people also like it in a, in a salad as well. Then there's the all-time Dijon. Dijon is a, a place in France, for those of you who are unfamiliar, that, you know, that's where that style of mustard came from. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm always encouraging people to compare the ingredients. Look at the ingredients. Sprouted mustard seed, our white wine vinegar, sea salt, and lemon juice. That's it. Look at other ingredients. You're going to find a multitude of other ingredients that you particularly don't want. And it doesn't make for a classic Dijon. So this Dijon has a lot of flavor. It has the right amount of bite. It's creamy. It's rich. It's complex. It's, it really has a lot of flavor. You wouldn't even think sometimes that it's, you know, there's mustard in there, of course, but there's so much other flavors going on. Dijon, I mean, it's endless on what you can use it for. I dare you to compare this Dijon with any other Dijon you've ever had. Plenty of times the feedback has been, this has been the best, best Dijon that anybody has ever tried. Then we have our balsamic mustard, which we've had this guy for a while. And it uses our, our one of our balsamics, Mercurio. It's got some wildflower honey, buckwheat honey, virgin olive oil in there, and sea salt, because you gotta have olive oil with balsamic vinegar. And this just, it gives a nice little rich color. There's those mustard tails again. And again, you can use this in a salad with fish on uh, any type of meat, really. And it just makes for a great marinade as well, for those, especially if you like to marinate with balsamic vinegar. Then, we have the extremely popular truffle mustard. This has to be the best combination of flavors that have ever been introduced to planet Earth. You know, it's truffle. We've taken that from our, our truffle source in Italy, which you'll find in our truffle oil. And then we have the white wine vinegar, sea salt, wildflower honey, virgin olive oil in, in there again in our organic truffle essence. It, it's it's extremely exquisite. You can add this to turkey, lamb, duck, put it on a bed of asparagus. You can also add this to a salad. Uh, there's many other things you can use it for and you can just put your finger in there and it just tastes super delicious. It's one of our, I think it's our best, second best seller. And then there's the apple mustard. Apple is really popular for those people who don't like mustard. And it's been something that we challenge people with when we come across people that don't like mustard, are like, all right, you need to try the apple then. We really hit this one off. It's like, it's, it's kind of like an apple sauce, apple pie, mustard, you know, symphony in heaven. It has those spices that you would find that you'd be reminded like in, a, in an apple pie. It's got Ontario Macintosh apples in there, wildflower honey, of course. So it's, it's more on the sweeter side. So our sweet mustards would be the maple and the apple. Really extremely delicious. Like it's something if I have nephews that will eat this stuff with a spoon, it's so good. Macintosh apples. Next we have, this is, this could be my favorite. I think it is my favorite. It doesn't, uh, I don't, there's some others I use more often, but in terms of the flavor, this lemon dill just pops. I'm a big fan of dill. Lemon dill, 
just makes any salad sing. You can put this on any type of white fish as well as salmon. We use the whole lemon in here, so there's a bit of the, the rind as well as the, the juice. And of course, you're gonna find some uh, wine vinegar and our virgin olive oil in there, as well as the sea salt. So we really are extremely proud that we get to work with Neil. Uh, we're so happy that we stumbled across him. Neil has a little farm. He does his own gardening, which some of these ingredients you'll find in our mustards, like his dill. And yeah, like again, he's located uh, just here in Uxbridge. He's got his own products. You got to check him out. These are our mustards. Again, there's 11. We're looking for 12. If you think you know what that 12th one should be, you got to let us know. These are our mustards. You're going to love them all. Try one at a time and give us some feedback. Thanks for watching and add some flavor to your life. Ciao.